the ability to control one's own emotions that allows the leader to cope with the demand of a stressful work environment and adjust their emotions so that they are appropriate for the task at hand the leaders who are better at controlling their emotions are also better at evoking the positive emotion in the followers the ability to read one's own emotions that accurately facilitates the emotions and the emotional self control the leaders who are aware of their emotions are better placed to control their emotions and subsequently consider the emotional need of the followers the ability to accurately perceive the emotion of others such as language tones appearance and behavior that allow the particular users and the leaders to be aware of and the sensitive to the followers emotional reaction to the leaders behavior the leaders with this ability that may be and it should be able to detect the negative impact that the pressure has on the emotions of the followers the ability to use one's emotion to motivate oneself and facilitate the goal attainment that should help the leaders not only to motivate themselves but also their followers the intrinsic motivation tends to positively impact the performances the leaders often use their emotions to motivate themselves and others followers in order to attain the goals that would therefore prefer to avoid inducing the negative emotions in the followers because the negative emotion will eventually have an adverse effect on followers will be and ultimately on followers performances as well the emotional intelligence should increase the leader's awareness of the negative emotions that the pressure can evoke in the followers and should also those intelligence in a emotional way we can increase the likelihood of a leaders being aware that the followers perception his vision and those ideas involving for the choice of a leader being follow following and the increase of a pressure and the support and the capacity to support and the counteract the negative emotional effect of pressure that are influenced by how the low pressure and support are configured the important factor is the leader who prefer the before style have the higher levels of emotional intelligence than the do leaders who prefer the three important styles the pressure from the leader who to work harder or more efficiently and it's essentially the application of the leader's formal authority over the followers and the power distance between the leader and the followers involved that the main issue than pressure that is provided without the support it does likely to evoke the negative reactions the innovative ideas and the innovative leader that have a creative vision and a big idea and the big roles are huge thought and most importantly they have the quality to motivate the people around them to turn those ideas into fact reality those ideas can bring into life in existence thus these followers willing to obey their leaders trying to follow their leader because they know that the leadership by demand is far less effective at creativity implementation and innovation than the motivation and the inspiration they have they involve to fulfill those desires the dream and the distributed leadership style also primarily concern for the practice of leadership rather than the specific leadership roles and responsibilities the collective extended leadership practice that builds the capacity for change and those improvement 
that the leaders require. They need to inspire the society, the followers, and they can follow those leaders' attitude, their stance. To they have to create those opportunities for others to lead by following them. The leadership and innovation are both the statement about the actions. The person who is leading is doing something very interesting and they are not sitting around and waiting for something to happen to them. It's automatically by chance. It's not going to make possible. They have to do for it. They have to make sure that they can perform it. You have to start. Small action and a large vision. Small action and large vision. These are the primary focus for the influencer that the society has demand for. They have asked for to fulfill those demands, those requirements, that they follow those steps to fulfill their dreams and the followers also follow the same for the innovators to implement those leadership styles. The main focus of the distributed leadership involves the mobilizing the leadership expertise at all levels of the school or the college in order to generate more opportunities for a change and to build the capacity for the improvement. The one person has all the skills and the talent to create those success and chances of success often increase with diverse perspective and the expertise of many. But the selection of person is also very crucial. If you look carefully at the current organizational structure, you could see an exciting emerging trend. The most companies now have at least three different generations in their employee mix. It is interesting because each of these generation looks at a management principles and leadership that is quite differently performed. The question is which such a wide mix of talent, ideology, thinking, ability, vision, perspective and the operational style, how do you ensure the high speed innovation? They are rarely seen those facts, the one to told that instead most of them wants leader to trust them for being capable of doing the right thing and from that perspective, most of the management principles from the past are not applicable anymore. When we think of a progressive organization and innovation, this factor needs to be accounted for a challenge, volatility in the environment and the ecosystem at various levels that is increasing rapidly and uncertainties are mounting and increasingly becoming a routine in business environment. A volatile environment needs decisiveness and this decisiveness needs a clear vision and curiosity to deal with. Having a broad knowledge base can be useful and dealing with uncertainty demands diversity and courage in the team and you need people who bring in a different perspective and how showing those strong action and steps that challenge for the most of the businesses that have a decision making point and the major bottleneck have seen and they deterred and impede those agility. That means they have an adverse impact on the volatile and uncertain environment. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.